future remains outstanding, the goal of reconciliation and constitutional harmony remains unachieved. The ongoing rift in the national fabric remains unremitied. And I, I uh, uh, would uh, just say that the next step, obviously, is for the federal government and Manitoba to sit down with the Métis and reach a settlement. And I don't pretend to know what that settlement would look like. The Supreme Court of Canada made it clear the Métis are distinctive Aboriginal people, distinct from the Indians and the Inuit. And they had distinctive ways of land holding. They held land as individuals and as families. They didn't ask for reserves to be set aside for them. And the court made it clear that uh, this is a, a case in a sense that's unique because it's about the Métis. The, um, uh, the, if, I, I don't say if, there, there must be a settlement and it will be for the Métis and the, uh, their partners in the negotiation to work out what that settlement will look like. It may not look uh, exactly like a First Nations land claim settlement or an Inuit land claim settlement. This is going to be uh, uh, a further step in the Canadian in the Canadian journey, and uh, I uh, I uh, uh, would only I, I <laughs> because he came to my 65th birthday party. You'll have a pretty good idea of what age I've reached now. <laughs> and I may not be around to see the unfolding of this tale, but I want to leave you uh, with the words of Louis Riel, who uh, you know lived on and uh, was tried uh, for treason in 1885 and, and uh, hanged. Um, uh, during his closing speech to the jury, Louis Riel talked about the events of 1869-70 and he said it is to be understood that there were two societies who treated together. One was small but in its smallness had its rights. The other was great but in its greatness had no greater rights than the small because the right is the same for everyone. Now those words of Riel would not today be a compelling coda to the judgment of the Supreme Court of Canada if it had not been for the perseverance of the Manitoba Métis. They brought the case, they uh, uh, represented the collective will of the Manitoba Métis in a way that was recognized uh, by the Supreme Court of Canada and they launched this journey into our past and established its relevance to our present.